Good morning, folks. We've got two key studies to hit today on biological implications of space weather and magnetic activity. The SDO satellite performed a calibration roll overnight, so to better gauge solar activity over the last day, we'll be using the GOES SUVI for diagnostic purposes. There were a few more M class solar flares and a plasma filament that released on the north, but all appear to be very minor, with some appearing not to even break out of the corona at all. If the corona holds solar wind, it will reach us in the next 48 hours. But SOHO is showing what appears to be a halo CME. However, stereo is indicating that this is actually off the far side and is heading in the opposite direction from the Earth. The Earth side flaring did not produce significant CME activity, but we'll have to keep watching for more flares because these sunspots are developed and still morphing a good bit. We'll have eyes on them. Let's take a quick peek at the winter forecast from the Weather Channel for the United States. Interesting that this doesn't exactly match the La Nina pattern expectations, which is almost certainly coming to a peak here in the winter months of the Northern Hemisphere. But this is what they're expecting. First on deck today in the journals is this one, a preprint dealing with the detection of cellular process modification by the presence or absence of a magnetic field. They found significant impacts, as has been the case for various studies that came before, and whether it's a solar storm or the changes to Earth's magnetic field, it plays a critical role in cellular processes. The second article is this one, the impact of increased solar activity on the body's B12 and folate levels. The hypothesis is that it's somehow related to changes in ultraviolet light or the electromagnetic environment, but whatever the hand is in play here, the end result is quite clear. And yes, folks, I would expect amplification of those depletions as Earth's magnetic field weakens in the ongoing geomagnetic excursion. Several events coming up in the next few weeks at Observer Ranch. At ObserverRanch.com, not only can you book your trip to come see us in person, but our store is now open and running there. Every single one of our books is now available through that store, along with much, much more. ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, right now, at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.